46 yellows and uh, one red card shown this far in the National League season. And uh, he's about to get us underway. Woking have the kickoff and they will be attacking towards their own fans in this first half. And they line up with Alex it's Andre Jr. in goal. Ball's quickly in touch uh, all along that terrace. And of course, one section of the big stand away to our right. Here's Stokes holding it up, looking to roll his man and get away from him. Eventually tees it off to Tolledge. Back to Stokes. Might have room for a shot here. Tries it, drags it just wide. We are fortunately positioned here to know from the minute it left his foot, Ian, that it was going wide. But it is the first strike of the afternoon from the shots. 14 and three quarter minutes gone, nil nil. Yeah, slightly scuffed there, but it, the expectation so high from Josh Stokes that you can feel, the, particularly all shot fans, volume was going up. He feeds Lewis, who clips it over the top, and Amond will win the foot race. He'll pick it up in the inside left channel. He's up against Harry's now, tries the early cross. Handball was it by a Sioux, nothing given. Ball breaks clear. Uh, Reese Brown, good strong tackle from Monoga. Doesn't quite win it cleanly. It's back right to Woken. Little hit one. Clip over the top from Reese Brown. And uh, it's a goal kick to the shots. In crazy intense little bit of action there, Ian. Difficult to keep up. So many little one touches, wasn't it? But ultimately the ball broke to Brown. He was a tight angle really against Van Stappershoff, who made himself big and he clipped it just wide. Yeah, Ozu, Lewis, uh, Amund. Uh, and Brown all making themselves very busy, very quick, very energetic and uh, it was a half chance really and uh, didn't quite fall for this decisive shot. Just for the benefit of our online listeners, Woken in possession inside their own half. Stokes has cut out a pass, goes forward. Thank you Gary, here's Tolad into the area, tries a shot left footed and it's in off the inside of the post! And Tolled, who had four efforts in the Boxing Day game, scores with his first effort this time to go level with Josh Stokes on 15 goals for the season. Stokes it was who cut out the pass, fed Tolledge. Tolledge inside the left edge of the penalty area, let fly for his shot, beat Alexis Andre Jr. and it went in off the far post. And it is in the 26th minute, Woking nil, Aldershot Town one. Yeah, and a really well taken goal there by Tolaj. He uh, ball came in, just that little bit of daylight out on the left, breaking into the penalty area, and he hit it very true. It takes a lot at the moment to beat Alexis Andre Jr., but it got down in off the post, and uh, you know what the all shot fans would have been craving, and uh, all to do now for Woking, who have actually been playing pretty positively, been on the front foot. His Frost finding Tollage, plays the ball into a bit of space for Josh Stokes down the right hand side, squares it looking for Barr on near post, makes the run, gets a little flicked effort but it's too slight and it turns away from goal and Alexis Andre Junior can collect it plays it down the line, Hadjim Minoga will take it on his chest brilliantly and then has lost out to Denon Lewis, Lewis running up against Harrys who misses his tackle Lewis pulls it back Oh, it's brilliantly cleared away by Stuart O'Keefe, but only as far as another Woking player. The shot's going to come in. Whoa! It's a wonderful save, and then it's followed up by Rhys Brown, who's levelled in the Woking shots derby here. And again, the shots are conceded oh so soon after they've scored. Just three minutes. And uh, it was a brilliant save from Van Stappershoef. The effort uh, coming in from Luke. Wilkinson, but the ball followed up and Reese Brown levels for the cards. Woking one, Aldershot shot down one. Ian Nick. Well, this game has now erupted. We we could well be, and this could be the kiss of death, but we could well be in for a classic. In both teams playing very very well in attacking. Michael Dawes' first goal as a Woking manager, fully deserved. Akinola's shot looked goal bound, well saved by Van Stappershoff and. Uh, in the melee that followed, Reese Brown got the toe home and uh, one all. It's gone quickly, hasn't it, Rob? 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and apologies, Akinola it was with the run and the shot. Ironically, who'd come on for Oyeliki, who got injured in those opening moments, the number 16. And, and it looked like all the shot O'Keefe did really well at one point in that attack as well, just to clear the ball away. But uh, ultimately, Brown who's so good, as you say, with the ball at his feet and dribbling. He didn't need to there. He just needed to finish from close range, and he was the quickest to react. 
Monoga can't quite get there. Harry's does. Reads it well. Again, good control from him. Feeds Ollie Scott. Plays a ball down the line. Looking for Tolledge. He's definitely onside. Making his way down the left. Barham's in the middle. Can he get it into him? It's cut out by Cuthbert. Only as far as Frost. Tyler Frost for the shots. Has put all the shot town ahead. For the benefit of our online listeners. And now our radio listeners rejoin us with the news that Tyler Frost has put Aldershot Town in front again. No hesitation from the Aldershot Town midfielder as the ball was only half cleared. Tolledge breaking down the left, squared it in, looking for Barham. I think it was Cusper who cleared it into the path of Frost, who followed up and smashed it home for just his second Aldershot Town goal of the season. Woking one, Aldershot two. Yeah, that was... Uh... Um, Aldershot did very well there, Dan Moss was caught upfield, caught in no man's land, so it left a huge wide space in the right back position and uh, Aldershot capitalised, ball came in, Cuthbert half cleared, did well, but then it, it fell, to, uh, fell to Frost who was able to sort of bang it home and uh, again this game's not letting us rest is it? It's certainly not, we wanted goals on Boxing Day, they didn't come listeners today, they're coming a plenty, 36 minutes I think the time of that uh, second Aldershot Town goal and the test now for Aldershot Town can they go a reasonable amount of time without conceding again after they've scored they've got something like eight minutes to go until half time now poor ball from Ince and uh, it's cut out by Barham finds Tolad who heads it into the path of Stokes who we can't quite get first touch but he will recover to get onto the ball he's on the edge of the penalty area comes back a little back heel into the path of Ollie Scott drills it across a did a little deflection on it and then it carried on away across the pitch don't even know who the throw is going to go to here it is to Aldershot Town clever little bit of play from Josh Stokes not one usually to play a back heel too often does so there and Ollie Scott was quickly onto it, hasn't had many opportunities bombing no. forward. And that all came really from some dozy play from Ince, really, it just un under no pressure and just uh, really gave the ball away and uh, Woking can't afford to do that. Turns it inside, sends it out to the right-hand side to Kobe Rowe. Rowe didn't quite read it initially, he's not used to receiving the ball in that position. He read it at the second attempt and goes back to Monoga. Frost turns into a bit of space, squares it to Harfield. Harfield tries the ball through the defence to Scott. Can he get the ball in? In it comes. Tolladge! Acrobatic left-footed overhead kick and it goes wide. It was difficult, but he smashes the ground with both palms downwards. He thought it was a great chance. He's pulled it wide and it remains. Working one order shot two, Ian and Nicholson. That, and that would have been a lovely goal there by Tolledge. I'm sure it would probably have been goal of the season, but uh, he really Tolledge really caught it so strongly, but couldn't get it, couldn't get the direction right. But more than that, the build-up was really good. Build-up, finding men out wide, and uh, dinked ball in. And whereas often Woking have been in those positions, but there haven't been people on the end of it. Whereas with order shot, there seems to be, you know, they. they working much more cohesively in terms of getting people on the end of those little dink crosses to Monoga and Monoga will go all the way back to Jordi Van Stapperschurf I think that uh, Tolladge, Harries and Harfield probably all be in the thoughts of uh, Steve Gibbs for the Aldershot Town oh it's a terrible miss by Jordi Van Stapperschurf the ball bounced on the back pass he swung and completely missed it and it trickles past the left hand wow. post and it could have been a horrible, horrible moment for Jordi Van Stappershoef and Aldershot Town. Time stood still there, didn't it, as he, it was bobbling towards the goal with no one knowing whether it was going to go in or out. He Went did get just a past the post. Yeah, slight touch on it, so it's gone behind for a corner. Controlled really well by Wilkinson, who's still forward. And then a good, strong challenge from Scott, and the ball ricochets clear to Frost. Um, taken by Tolage skips one way then the other tries a little ball down the left and Byron might get onto this he's into it on the edge of the penalty first touch takes him to his right another touch can he get shot away steadies himself cleared off of the line brilliantly absolutely brilliant goal line clearance for Woking Ian from was it Casey or no it's Dan Moss Dan it's Moss. Dan Moss yeah. Yeah. just needed a bit of help there until he turned it's gone behind for Aldershot Town's second corner. They're averaging one every 36 minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, that was a great... Bar Barham got uh, 
Woking really pushed up on Tolad, who made space for himself and put Barham in, and uh, Moss was caught, caught uh, slightly out of position, and it looked that really Barham was word odds someone. on to get a goal there, and uh, yeah. but very well defended. Shot still with that slender lead, 2-1, ball into the feet of Barham, turns his man, does well against Cuthbert, squares it across, cleared away by Wilkinson, and it'll find Reese brown poor touch from him, and that will be shepherded into touch. A little bit of pushing and shoving between Brown and Stokes. Back the other way before the end of this game, and uh, you'd have to say all the shots look good for their lead at the moment, but this can change very quickly. If you're a shots fan at the moment, it's tight and it's tense, but they have a slender lead. 2 1, 81 and a half minutes gone. All the shots free kick. Glover takes it back, uh, gets it back again, sent inside to Harfield. Harfield clips the ball into the far edge of the penalty. Oh, Minoga, Minoga toes it down. Barham follows up and he's towed it home. Minoga with the assist. Barham has scored in the 82nd minute and the shots might just have put this one to bed. Jack Barham with his 13th goal of the season. Woking one, Aldershot Town three. Yeah, and you have to say that was a well-worked goal, very well-worked goal. It was uh, training ground stuff, ball in, header down. Barham got down on the end of it and uh, Woking caught, caught sleeping there, really. But 3-1, you'd have to say it looks like game over, but, uh, but still 10-plus added time, so probably 15, 15 minutes to go. Thank you very much, Ian Nicholson. Well, Aldershot may have struck the crucial blow in this one. And uh, 1,198 fans on the far side are delirious. They've been battered by rain for most of the afternoon, but they won't care right now. They're in celebration mode. What a clever header down from Haji Minoga. You could have forgiven any player for trying to head for goal there, but he headed it down percentage-wise into a place where Jack Barham pounced to do what yeah. he's built a career on. Yeah, it was good composure and... Uh... You know, good composure and clinical from Aldershot in, in taking that goal. Woken have taken the throw quickly and Reese brown has got it. It's been challenged now by Tyler Frost, who's had a pretty good game as well. Um, for the shots, ball inside. Uh, ball cross comes in, Ammon heads it back across, header down, he's in! From Grego Cox. He's met the cross with a downward header past the diving... Jordi Van Stappershoef and Woken are back in this one with just a few minutes left. Grego Cox on the spot. Woken two, Aldershot Town three. And just as he thought this game was sort of slumbering towards its conclusion, suddenly it's open again. And good long ball across. Amund got the header right across and Grego Cox is on the end of it. And he takes those well. He, is a, he has a good leap on him. He's a good header of the ball. And he's also very clinical, which is something Woking, as we've been saying all game, have been lacking. And uh, down into the bottom corner. And certainly, odds obviously still on a Aldershot win. Uh, Josh Casey's been given the Woking official man of the match. We'll hear who uh, Ian Nicholson's given it to in a bit. But here's Aldershot charging forward. Oh, Aldershot Town fans clear, cheered for a penalty. Stokes has gone down, referee sees it the other way and shows Stokes a yellow. Big, potentially, decision in that. And it's the second yellow for Stokes, who's shown dissent. Yellow, yellow, and he's off. The Aldershot Town number 10. He's been sent off in the 92nd minute. And, uh, wow, he, he, he protested the fact that he felt he was fouled and it wasn't a dive there's no VAR yellow yellow makes red for Josh Stokes shots down to 10 3-2 up and we've got seven and a half minutes left of a minimum of nine Ian Nicholson well one thing this referee has been he's been very hot on descent I think he books Michael Doyle the Woking manager he books Josh Casey he's now you know, young lad, 19-year-old, everything he's touched has turned to gold this season, and that could well be a, 
a big, big learning moment. But uh, you could understand. Whether it was justified, whether yeah. it was justified, but uh, the, the referee has been very hot on descent. Uh, Harry's comes away with the ball, finds O'Keefe. O'Keefe plays it into the path of Oli Bray. Will he take on the Woking defence? There's plenty of them. Skips inside. Ball is half cleared, but finds Stuart O'Keefe. O'Keefe finds Tyler Frost. Gets the afterburners on, bombing forward. Is he going to try a shot from inside the edge of the air? Deflection! Brilliantly saved by Alexis Andre Jr. A big moment in the game there, potentially, for Frost. Great effort. Gets the ball on the right-hand side. Clears it forward. Off of a Woking player. There could be a counter-attack on here for shots. Bray sends it out to the right-hand side. We're a hundred and a half minutes in here at the Lathwaite. Woking 2, Aldershot Town 3, Kwame Thomas holding it up down by the corner flag. The ball's in touch. It's another throw to Woking. There is the final whistle. The shots have prevailed here at the Lathwaite. They've got the bragging rights back off the cards after six points for Woking last year. This year, it's Aldershot Town who prevail. It's very, very tight. They've finished the game with 10 men, but they've hung on. Final score, Woking 2, Aldershot Town 3. 